Hello, welcome. Impromptu Vintage Night. Twitch chatters and YouTubers. Um, we're going to do a prelim. Vintage preliminary. I don't really need to play a preliminary, but I don't know. I like when they fire and I figured we'd get some practice in. There's a showcase coming up, not this next weekend, but the weekend after. Um, and the metagame is in a state of flux. Uh, Dredge placed four out of eight top eight in this weekend's challenge. And then... Uh, Ravager was very, very good in the second challenge on Sunday. So the metagame is definitely shifting. Um, Tinker is having a little bit of a hard time. We'll see what happens. Um, this is a big deck that's been showing up a lot. This is Mono Blue Paradox Glaucum. Um, I've just straight copy and pasted 75 of 75 of a list that came from Pete Ward, Fanoop, uh, showcase champion of vintage at some point. Uh, I know that there will be changes that I would make to this list because Pete and I have different ideas on how to play PO and how to build PO typically. Um, I really like the things that he does. He's got lots of interesting ideas, um, but for the most part, I, I have some different quirks than he does when it comes to building PO lists, which is totally fine. But I felt like it, to get the best idea of what this list is, how people are playing this list, I should just play the 75 as it is and we can just go from there. What you're seeing is a PO list that is skewing blue black is skewing black cards, so you're losing out on Vamp, Demonic, and Yogwill, which are big cards in PO, uh, to play five islands, which is awesome. I love multiple island PO lists. Um, instead of playing Dress Downs, you're playing Urza Sagas and four repeals. That's the big thing. Repeal hitting just basically everything that you are worried about, constructs, oofs. And a lot of times repeal as a one of in a normal peel list might not hit the things you need it to, but with your islands being able to keep you away from getting like collector oofed out of enough mana to play a repeal, um, this island mana base helps out with four repeal a lot. Four repeal is, I don't know, it's an interesting idea. It's not how I would build it, um, but I also don't really want to play Saga if I can help it. I do, you know, think that the Saga PO, deck, PO decks are very playable. They're totally fine. Um, they have a lot of different strengths and weaknesses, and maybe this one accentuates the strengths of Saga more than some of the PO lists that I've tried with Saga, but um, that's, you know, that's another <laughs> that's another topic for discussion. We are playing a Soul Guide Lantern and a, and a Needle as Saga targets. We are one Opal short of, like, a, a list that wants to splash, which makes sense to me. Um, still playing a Snapcaster, which I love. One Hercules, which I like. One Urza, which is fine. I'm not a huge fan of Urza in PO, but it's okay. Dig Through Time, I'm also not a huge fan of in PO, but it's, it, like I said, it's totally playable. And Karn main deck makes sense when you're playing Mono Blue, so that makes sense to me. Volt Key, when you're playing Saga, that makes sense. Three top is a lot of top. I typically don't like to play three top. I would rather play two if I can't help it, but it's totally reasonable, again, to play three top. So, um, yeah, like like I said, there's nothing that I find, like, super object objectable in this list. Uh, again, like I, I don't really like to play Saga in my PO decks, but I to it's totally something you can do so we're we'll just jump into a four round preliminary event for some some dgens and see how it goes round one here we're four minutes down uh but we're up against tyler durden and here we go uh yeah i mean this is a hand i'm gonna keep it Four repeal in theory solves a decent amount of problems um when combined with five islands so that's why i'm giving it it's you know giving it a shot but if someone was to play this deck, I would like to counter this deck by just playing a PO list that has, like, Flusterstorm, Dress Down, like, kind of the PO list that I have been playing, and I feel like I should be way favored in the mirror, so. Like, if you're playing Demonic Tutor, Vampiric, uh, at Fluster, and Dress Down in a mirror PO match where your opponent has Saga, I feel like I would have to be favored. So, we'll have to see. I'm going to just Ancestral on their upkeep. I play around Negation, so I don't overdraw. I would say if I had done this on my turn, I would have eight cards and I have to discard. Just a classic vintage thing. Though I might still end up having to do such a thing because we're going to my turn. Though we have a nice play of Brainstorm with our Prismatic Vista. Um, which I'm going to do because I'm going to overdraw if I don't, and I would ra rather try to find some Moxin to, to lay down instead of overdrawing. Um, if this gets countered, not a huge deal because we'll just play our land and go past the turn. It's an insight, it's, it's a tempting thing to counter because of how strong it is with, you know, a fetch land that I may or may not have. 
Volcanic Island. Is this a Pyroblast? I'm totally okay with this getting Pyroblasted. It's not great for me, but it's not the end of the world either. Um, I think I'm just going to play this island so I can hold this for Ponder and just pass. I don't think I want to Ponder now. I think representing Flusterstorm is powerful and also holding up Repeal is like something, but not much of anything. But I'd like to... like. The one thing I don't want to happen is, like, I play a Phasmatic Vista and I have to repeal something and then I can't use my fetch land with my Ponder, which I would not like, so. This is also a great spot because we have Snap Ancestral as well. What is this? this is a... Oh, interesting. Land Expressive Iteration. I'm definitely going to let this resolve. Um, this makes it so you can't really hit a land as your Expressive Iteration Exile. You kind of have to hit a Moxin. And a lot of the Expressive Iteration decks don't play full sets of Moxin, so... I'm wondering if this is really just going to be, like, Impulse. Oh, no, they hit Black Lotus. <laughs> All right, so never punished. Normally, I wouldn't play Expressive Iteration on a land drop on turn two, but if you're going to hit Black Lotus, by all means. That seems really powerful. <laughs> so they got to put a card in their hand, and they got a Black Lotus. And then what? And then Ancestral Recall with Flusterstorm mana. I see. Okay, well, I will counter with Urza, uh, Urza. If they fluster this, I think I would re-counter. I'm allowed to like spend two for ones because I have Snap Ancestral to refill. Don't care about Time Walk though. Time Walk is just cycle draw, like untap two lands, draw card kind of thing. It's not a huge deal. I do wish I had a fluster. Are there fluster storms in this deck? There are no fluster storms in the main. Wow. That is something I did not notice on my first pass through. Yeah, I can't imagine, like, this deck cannot be good in a PO mirror. It has to be unfavored versus most PO decks, which is interesting. Because this deck was seeing a heavy amount of play in the Saturday challenge, like the most play of any deck in the Saturday challenge, and it is not tuned for the mirror in any capacity. So if you're expecting to see Ravager in the mirror, I, I kind of think that you want to build this deck differently. But again, Vintage moves very fast on Magic Online, so... What is true today may not be true come the showcase in two weekends. My opponent is at three cards, and I still have a Force and a Snap Ancestral, so I feel pretty good about the spot we're in. Even though they've gone through Lotus Ancestral Time Walk Expressive Iteration, which is pretty strong. Maybe I wasn't supposed to hold up Repeal and I was supposed to cast Ponder. Is this a Narset? Oh, it's a dig through time. Most certainly a dig or a cruise, which I'm going to force again. A Merc Tide. Okay, I'm going to force that as well. That's a bit too much of a clock for me to handle, I think. So the question will now become, do we want to go ponder land? Or do we want to snap Ancestral and just hope that they don't have negation? Which... I do lose out on my ponder fetch land play... Okay, now I think I'm definitely down. If they want to go let, use their last two cards to negate my Ancestral, I have Force. This looks good for me. So I will use my Fetch to get my third island and snap an Ancestral here. Uh, we don't know which kind of Murktide region deck they're on. You can play Wastelands, or you can play Sagas, or you can play both if you're a crazy Zoomer. Um... All right, let's show Snap Ancestral. My opponent went for the biggest Merc Tide, and I kind of, if they're, hmm, if they have Mystic Sanctuary, I would like them to not go for the biggest Merc Tide and instead leave behind an Ancestral, but uh, if they don't have a Mystic Sanctuary or a Snapcaster or something, then it doesn't really matter. Then I think going for the biggest Merc Tide makes sense. All right, so I have an Ancestral targeting myself. My opponent could play Daze, but I don't know. That seems like something I wouldn't want to play around at this point. I'm interested to see if they do have a Negation, though, after this. No Negation. Okay, so I mean, I have a Snapcaster. I have a Saga coming. I have a Force still. I have a Narset to stop more cantrips. I mean, we're in great shape. Going Saga Narset next turn with Force is like... We're super far ahead. And the one thing I did kind of like the look of in this deck is that it does seem like it plays reasonably against... A grindy blue deck, but I don't know. I, I still have some misgivings. So this can't actually get Ancestral Recall because Ancestral is exiled. So this is probably getting dig through time, which that's just fine. 
Um, if they want to like spend some mana and play Dig Through Time next turn, I will just force it and I'll be super happy. So, oh, they got Gush. Yeah, that makes sense. Gush makes sense. Yeah, I mean, again, I still don't think I'm going to force the Merchant Scroll. If they want to gush right now or in the near future without using like a sanctuary, I think that's fine for me. Also, I mean, I have Narset, so they're going to have to gush on my turn, which I'm sure they don't want to do. Typically not. Oh, they do want to do that. They're just going to do it in my upkeep. So the downside of letting this resolve is I can get hit by like Pyroblast on Narset, but again, I don't think that's a huge deal. Um, just gonna swing first and then slam a Narset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I explained a little bit. Um, Fancy, if you want, you can go into the live VOD um, and just run it through at two times speed. But like five or six minutes ago, I explained all my thoughts on the deck and why I, why I think Pete is playing it the way he is. So, um... It's really easy. You just like click my name underneath the video player and it'll go to the live VOD and then you can just go do it at two times speed and you'll catch up and you'll be back here in no time. Tricks of the trade, as it were. So this gets pyroblasted. I don't know if I'm supposed to force or not. The problem with forcing is that they can like slam a region and that would be bad. Force of Negation pitching Flusterstorm. I mean, they definitely didn't have Force of Negation or Flusterstorm last turn, right? Because we did Snap Ancestral, so they would have had to drawn it this off of Gush or for turn. So that would make me believe that it's fine for me to just force this. Well, I think Snapcaster is a staple in PO at this point. I think it's legitimate. It would be it would be a legitimately worse PO deck if you weren't playing one Snapcaster. So, I mean, Snapcaster sees like decent amount of play because of that. Interesting. Now I have an interesting choice because I can just take this PO and it will be good later, or I can take this Black Lotus and just cast a dig right now, which is enticing. Which is very enticing. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I, I actually think it's better to just get this. Well, I don't have a fluster. Like, the thing I would really want is a fluster. And I just, there are no flusters in my deck, which is so weird to me. I've used three of my four forces as well. So I do need to win this game soon. Okay. So I have a top. A probe. Hmm, that's interesting. I know my opponent's hand is two lands, two unknowns. I need to make sure that I look at my opponent's hand this time when I probe. I know YouTube commenter told me I was not looking at my opponent's hand after probing. That's because they changed how probe works on Magic Online. It doesn't pop up the hand anymore. So I have a lot of muscle memory of things that are not working. I could just take Sapphire top, but I kind of think I... Hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to take Sapphire top because it'll set me up for a PO better, but I also want to see what their hand is. So it's probably fine if I just go probe top. And I can even go, I want to put this bottom, I need to shuffle actually, because this is a lot of, these are going on the bottom, right? Yeah, that's a lot of, um, that's a lot of Moxin on the bottom of my library. So I can actually play spin and then probe. Again, that would be really good if I had a Flusterstorm to draw to, but I don't, which is, I don't know. I really dislike that there's zero Flusterstorms in the main. I would play at least one. Like, I'm a Merchant Scroll deck, right? I'm a Merchant Scroll deck? I'm a Merchant Scroll deck. There should be one Fluster in the main. Playing zero Fluster in the main is, is not acceptable in my mind. Mm, don't like that very much, but I do like this. P.O. Saga... Um, yeah, I mean, I like this a lot. It's going to be good. Of course, I, I have no counterspell this turn. Will I take two damage? Yeah, I'll take two damage so I can spin again. Yeah, I, oh, wow. They are, okay, they're playing a blue-red list. Oh, interesting. Well, this is not, 
super great because now they can dash a Ragavan, but I can just give... I know I have an Urza Saga, so it's not a huge deal. Ragavan is a lot less threatening when I have a top. I mean, I assume they're going to dash a Ragavan here. I am not super weak against Magus because I do have tons of basics, but I also have Sagas, which get turned off pretty badly. So I'm just going to let this thing hit my Saga, which is going to dig me one deeper, which makes my top better. So that's nice. Uh, the good news is I know they have no counter spells, so I should be able to go like Narset, activate, attack, and then PO and win, I would assume. Uh, they could obviously have hit a Pyro or a Fluster on this draw step. But... Well, it does a very specific thing, and it does a very specific thing well, and the meta, if the metagame calls for 4 repeal, then it makes some sense to 4 repeal. I definitely want Time Walk, because that's going to help me play around... Um, that's going to help me play around... The stuff. <laughs> uh, a Pyroblast or a Fluster Storm. So I think I'm just going to... I mean, I'll just dig into it with the Narset, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, I don't even think I need a Construct. I think I'm just going to be activating my Narset. What? I mean, if you were here at the beginning of the... I basically said that I wanted to play the list that everyone was playing to see what it was like. We're testing because a lot of people are playing this list, so I want to see how good it is. So a downside of this Time Walk is I don't actively have enough mana... <laughs> uh... Maybe I should just make a construct in time walk. It's probably the for the best actually because that will give me another thing to PO with So I can just go time walk. They can't even fluster this uh, And then I can make a construct untap Make a construct get a mana crypt. Yeah, that's really good Do I I don't think I actually need a second construct though I don't think I need a second construct. So I, I'm just gonna draw. Oh wait. And did I know what I was drawing here? No, I didn't know what I was drawing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get through this, float a mana, and then get a, uh, a mana crypt, and then I'm just gonna go boom, 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 boom. It's okay if I lose two damage here, I think the upside is high enough, and I'm just gonna pick this all up. And the good news is, oh, actually I'm mana short. The, I was gonna say the good news is, if this was to get pyroblasted, I would be able to PO again. But I am not actually able to PO again because I'm one mana short. But it doesn't matter. It resolved, so the game is over. So now we just play out all our things, PO again. Um, and my opponent's very dead. Um, don't have a blue Moxin because we have that Sapphire on the bottom of our library. Which is unfortunate. I could go Snap Time Walk. Oh, I search with Saga. You're right. That is true. I still think I'm going to go snap time walk here. And then just... That should just be good, right? Yeah, that, that just kills them with the construct token. So it didn't have to actually PO off, which is interesting. I did use a lot of time there, and I had spent four minutes doing the intro, so I gotta be a little careful on how fast I play, but should be okay. Uh, I currently cover Lightning Bolt, so I'm just going to attack and kill my opponent. Yes. So, uh, next, not next week, the, the last Saturday of January is a showcase. Okay, so we kind of just demolished them with an Ancestral Recall, which that's a very vintage thing to happen. My opponent is playing the blue-red Blood Moon thing that... I don't know if Passion put it together or Passion took it from somewhere, but Gidra and Passion have played it. Yeah, this thing, probably. Um, Ragavan, <laughs> Ragavan, Magus, Murktide, one waste, one strip... This deck is just a mess. Um, it's like a blue-red Xerox shell, but it has like a bunch of random creatures in it. One shatter, one Null Rod, one Meltdown, three Shattering Spree, two Moon, one Trap, two with the Trap in the main. Okay. Interesting. 
Um, this is definitely a matchup where I want my Fluster Storms. It's actually a matchup where we want Sphinx. Because they can't really beat a Sphinx unless they have a bigger Murktide, I guess. I guess a bigger Murktide is a way to beat a Sphinx. Hmm. That actually makes me not want to play Sphinx because it's a pretty reasonable thing to do is have a bigger Murktide. I do think I want to dismember for Scab Clan and definitely for Scab Clan. Um, I think these Soul Guide Lanterns look very good here. My opponent's deck, uh, they're not very good. So I probably don't need all of them. Um, I just don't think these repeals are great. They don't hit Murktide, and so they can't, like, Ragavan. I don't know. These repeals do not look good to me. I will put some of them out. I don't think we need three tops. I don't think we need Harkle's Recall. I don't, I'm actually pretty off this Karn. So we can bring another repeal back in. I wonder if Dismember is really better than Suspend here. An interesting thought. I don't know if four Soul Guide Lantern is reasonable, but it's probably not reasonable. But it does a similar thing to repeal anyways. I don't I don't know. It doesn't seem fun. Maybe I'll just split three and three, and that way I can say I was I was right no matter what. <laughs> yeah. So are they playing a sanctuary? No. They're not playing a sanctuary, they're playing strip mine wasteland. Oh, actually, no, this is a different list because my opponent played Gush and this list doesn't have a Gush? This list doesn't have a Gush? These Tempo players be wilding. Whose list are they playing? Maybe they're playing their own list, an amalgamation. Not sure. A Dismember for a Raggy and a Sensei and a bunch of uncastables. Uh... I don't really like this hand. I'm on the draw. Kind of depends on how many creatures they play. It's not on, it's not that bad. It's fine. Like if they play a Ragavan, it's got decent counterplay to a Ragavan. If they play an Ancestral, it's pretty bad. Okay, they're up to eight, so they have to have a Mox in here. They only play three Mox in their deck, Ruby, Sapphire, Lotus, so they may have just made themselves have to discard here. So mini Brainstorm, I guess. Okay, that looks like that is the case. I gotta play a little bit faster. See what they discard. Land, I assume. Pyroblast. I mean, that's like such a good outcome. My opponent discarded a Pyroblast. Um, interesting. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do with this. I think I'm supposed to just play a top and pass. I don't need to play a lantern, and I want to be able to spin and find a land or to dismember something. Yeah, I have no idea what actual list they're on then. We'll just have to see. I, they did find a ruby. That's kind of funny. Again, I could always just spin against the Ragavan as well. Uh, brainstorm, no land drop. Yep. I mean, this is kind of the opposite of what happened in game one, right? Ancestral and the Brainstorm is what I did to them. And now they're going to do it to me, which is kind of the... The thing that happens in Blue Mirrors and Vintage. You only have one mental misstep. My deck had no fluster storms in game one. Kind of brutal. One of my opponent probably has like four fluster, four pyro or something insane. I would assume this matchup is like not great, but maybe Saga is good enough to beat it. Because I assume I can I in a in a normal match where I'm not heavily outdrawing my opponent with Ancestral Recall into triple force, I feel like they are gonna be able to counter my powerful blue cards.
the good news is if they had blood they blood moon me they have two mountains so so here the question of is this a ragavan and if it is a ragavan am i just spinning and using the ragavan with my top or am i dismembering the ragavan the upside of dismembering the ragavan is if i do draw an island i can slam a narset without it getting blasted okay it's just nothing okay interesting interesting it's a little unfortunate to use my vista because it's more powerful with my top, but I think I need to find a mana. I don't think I'm going to slam a Narsa, but that seems like a bad idea into discarded Pyroblast. Ah, this is this is not bad though. This is not bad. Island, definitely going to draw this island, and we have Jet Repeal coming. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna. I'm going to play Lantern and be able to draw into Repeal, I think. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. So how close are they to a Regent? Regent is a 7. They could technically play it if I wasn't resolving a Lantern here. I need to be careful, because I think I will pop my... Oh, they're just going to force my Soul Guide Lantern. I guess that means I'm going to die to a Murktide Regent. <laughs> if they're forcing my Soul Guide Lantern... They've pitched a Murktide Regent. Um, yeah, I mean, I have no counterplay to this. I guess that means I'm dying. Because my opponent is going to have a 7-7 seven, seven Murktide Regent. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds bad for me. Really don't know, like, I've just been so far behind because of this Ancestral. Maybe my hand was just now to keep. It wasn't an unreasonable hand, but it was pretty bad versus... Okay, this is actually really good for me. Because I have a repeal on my top of my library. It's interesting that they forced my Soul Guide and then... Didn't play a Murktide, but... Um, I don't, probably don't need to do it like this, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my repeal, floating a trigger, floating a top, and then bounce my emerald. And then I get to look at three top cards and have the top back in my hand. I guess I can get dazed if I do this, but... I guess I'm going to get dazed, aren't I? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Should I have played around dazed? I should probably have just played around dazed. I know I have a jet and... Okay, I didn't end up getting dazed. So now I have Jet Vault Academy. So I could technically draw Vault, play Emerald Vault, PO, or Emerald Vault top PO for that many. And they have to have Force. Yeah, I'm in. I mean, they have to have a second Force of Will now. Or a Negation, I guess. I mean, they're tapped out. I'm going to play into a Negation, but play around Pyro Fluster. This is like a big, a big uh, opportunity, I think. Uh, yeah, I have a Academy coming, so I can actually afford to use my top. However, I don't think I want to tap my top, because if this gets countered, I don't want my top to be on top. I want my top to be in play. So I'm not going to tap my top here. If I draw three cards, I'm, I am drawing Jet Academy, so it's okay. Yeah, so they did have Force Fluster, so we beat a Fluster this way. And I don't have to use my top like this. This is fine. Uh, I could have played Narset to play around this deck fade and they would have also had to Force Narset. That's kind of an interesting thought. I wonder if I was supposed to... I mean, it would have probably ended up the exact same. Would I have had any other opportunities because of that? Maybe. Like, they definitely would have forced a Narsa because they would want to be activate their DAC. Hmm. Yeah, thanks. But we got rid of another force this way. I mean, I assume they're going to play uh, 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 the second Murktide region or the... There's no way you would force my Soul Guide Lantern unless you were. That's a Meltdown? They just say their cards are better than Meltdown right now? 
I was F6. They could have hit my my top. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I feel like Meltdown's so good right now. Is this just going to be a... Uh... I mean, you can't play a Magus of the Moon here. You have two Volcanic Islands. Ah, Shattering Spree. That's fine. Um, that's totally fine. It's like a Meltdown, except they don't lose their Moxon. And I'm just going to go Mox Narset, so... Is there a budget vintage deck on MTGO? Yeah. There's like some very, very affordable vintage decks. I can show you after this round because I am down on time here. But the let me just off the top of my head. Ooh. Everything's about 500 tickets now. Except for Mono White is like 200 tickets. That's a remotely playable deck. Um, I wouldn't really recommend Mono White, but it, all almost all the meta decks are like 400... 500 tickets ish, which is not too bad. There are obviously some that are 800, 1000. 800. There's, it basically, there's a rung, there's a row of decks that are about 500, and there's a row of decks that are about 800. Um, all right, so my Narset Resolve, this should stop the. I mean, the deck fading could just steal my jet, but I think that's okay. I don't want to activate my Narset because I have an Academy, but maybe I don't want Academy actually. If I lose my jet, Academy is not even good, so I will activate my Narset. I thought about, for a second, just not activating Narsa. Force. Yeah, you could probably make a budget dredge deck for like 200 tickets as well. Uh, how do I like this list? It's fine. It's not how I want to play my PO deck, but... I kind of force them to use their deck fade and steel jet if I take this PO. I think I'd rather just have this force for a Merc Tide. They're only at two cards. They can't activate Dak Fade in. Uh, plus, they can't plus Dak Fade in. If we suspect that they have a Merc Tide, which I, I feel like they have to have a Merc Tide if they were going to force the Soul Guide, then I think forcing a Merc Tide is going to buy us enough time to find additional pieces, probably. With the amount we've gotten Dak this game, Repeal has certainly looked better than I thought it would. But they, I think they only have like one Dak in there. Well, I don't know what their deck list looks like. If they're on the deck list that, or like on a version of the, the Gidger deck list, then it's like one deck. But it could be as high as like three decks. Kind of depends on the player, really. So I'm a little concerned. I think it's definitely okay to get rid of the Talarian after I get Shattering Spreed that badly. I don't really feel like... I think taking the opportunity to PO when my opponent was tapped out to beat the Fluster Storm was definitely correct. My opponent has had a lot more resources than I have because they resolved Ancestral, but we've fought through them pretty well. They're down to two cards. We're at four cards. We have the same mana, and we have a probably a better Planeswalker in the heads up. So I would say we're ahead, but my opponent has like better tools to get ahead from here. Like, if they were to go Murktide with Pyroblast back up, and I force Murktide and they Pyroblast, as they're, like, two of the last three cards, then it's pretty bad. Or if they just Pyroblast my Narset, I probably just have to force it so that they can't use their deck. It's a pretty tight game. They dash monkey. I'm dismembering the monkey. Is that really a question? What's well, why would there be a better line than just dismembering the monkey? Oh, I don't have a mana up. Never mind. <laughs> I was paused on my own turn for so long. Okay, so. They used their blue-red land, so I think they don't have a Merc Tide. I'm just going to force this. I think I just want to force this. God, if this gets countered, though, it's so bad for me, right? I'm just... Un it's unplayably bad for me. If they have a second Pyroblast. I really just don't want them activating the stack fade in, though. 
This is probably too greedy, if I had to guess. Pyroblast was definitely the thing I didn't want them to untap with. Buster. Okay, so I lose Narset. They plus. Uh, it's not good. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad for me. The good thing is they use their Valk. This dismember has been kind of bad. Uh, man, Pyroblast is so brutal. Card's so good. Really didn't want this to happen. They discarded Pyroblast Leyline. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I think we're just going to lose from... I mean, I don't know. I feel like sitting in is also losing. Like, I these cards are terrible. I guess give me this fl Flooded Strand. Well, let's Float Force, and then... It's so bad. We're so far behind. We're just going to get murdered by the Stack Vaden. I don't really feel like my opponent played optimally. What? Really? Okay. Interesting choice. I think I would plus again. All right. I would rather not draw this PO, even though it's a blue card. I'd rather just fetch and see, see new cards here. I guess I don't need to fetch because I can leave open. Uh, I don't want to have to. You know, I, I'd rather just see new cards here. Fluster, ponder, walk. Okay. I, I don't really see how I'm going to win this game. It's not like I have a mentor in my deck. I don't really know like how I'm going to beat this deck fade in. This deck does not seem good against deck fade in. I guess I have four repeals, but like <laughs> strip mine. It's really awkward for me. It's really awkward for me. I mean, the problem, I don't know. I just don't even know how many Dak Fadens are in their deck. I have to play faster. I didn't think the four minutes that I did for the intro would actually matter, but they kind of have here. Okay. The problem is every, like, tempo play... Every tempo, like small tempo play, that's not even that good, just gets ex ex exponentially better. Not exponentially, but it gets much better because of Dak Faden. I don't like this deck very much, Pete. Why did you have no flusters in the main? You should at least have a fluster in the main. You have a merchant scroll. I don't agree with that. Like, I can see a reason not to play three and four flusters, but, like, not playing one fluster is criminal when you have a merchant scroll in your deck. There are so many times where you want a merchant scroll for a fluster. So they did board in Null Rod. I, it's got to be a take on the on the Gidra list. Uh, this is a what? A fluster? It's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter what they find. I'm just going to lose to everything they find, right? I had Pyroblast number four as their last card. Okay, I'm going to just go to the next... Uh, I guess I'll make them play it out because they're also low on time. I was just going to concede, but I guess making them play it out makes sense. Gush is a good one to find off of Narset when you haven't played a land drop in multiple turns and have a Dak fade in. 
pretty good. Didn't play the gush land, played a fetch land. Why? Very confusing. Now I know you have two lands in hand. Yeah, I'm just going to try to take some time off my opponent's clock here. See, guys, we're both pretty low. Let me actually just do until end step. My opponent is on like 10 creatures. They're playing Scab Clan Berserker, Fanoop. <laughs> I have to board in this dismember. <laughs> I don't want to get scab gland negation. Yikes. All right. This time I think I'm going to use the monkey with my top instead of murdering the monkey because I need to find something good. Uh, saga. What the fuck? All right. I should, I should have murdered the monkey. All right. Fair enough. I should have murdered the monkey. Good God. Uh, cause I can't, I, I guess I can give them soul ring and draw saga. It's probably fine. Uh, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. They would just take soul ring with Dak anyways, right? It's probably okay. Uh, I have the exact same, like, I have the exact same clock as my opponent, and I spent four minutes doing a deck intro. intro. It's not my fault. <laughs> my opponent's playing four Pyroblasts, four Flusterstorms. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to play through that shit? <laughs> my deck doesn't function versus four Pyroblasts. I'm mono blue. I don't even need QPs, yeah. I don't know why we're playing this <laughs> for the content. I did it for the content. Sure. Hydroblast gets countered by Pyroblast. Sad day. No! Look at how rude this is! <laughs> My opponent's evil! It's a good thing the deck can't win, though. Uh, yeah. Let me, let me dismember this. Oh yeah, we're playing, I mean, the only reason we're continuing to play is because my opponent is not playing at a quick enough pace to win this game. I can't actually, I can't draw with this top if I had a fluster. Okay, so give them a PO, take a time walk, or yeah, I probably can't give them a PO. <laughs> give them an opal, take a time walk. I don't think I can give them PO. It looks really bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> them picking up Narset is probably not a good sign. They can turn on this Opal. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, I was supposed to not draw that card. Uh, whatever, I don't care. I'm dead anyways. <laughs> I was supposed to not, I was supposed to spin in my upkeep so I didn't draw that card, but. They need four more Ragavan attacks to kill me. That's true, maybe we should have given them the PO because of how long it would have taken to play. <laughs> I didn't think about that. True, 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 true. Actually, let me, oh, what the, I did not think that they would Shattering Spree my top. Okay, fair enough. 
I didn't I didn't think they would do that. That was <laughs> that was that was not something I was prepared for. Oh, uh, it's fine. I'm just F6ing at this point. Hey. Hello, Jeremy. Black? Black? What are we making with so much black mana? Oh, there's Leyline of the Void? Why is Leyline of the Void in the deck? Do we play anything from the graveyard? Maybe I am supposed to play Sphinx if they're only playing two Murktides. Yeah, I'm going to board Sphinx in for game three. They just hard cast this Ragavan? Interesting. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. If I draw a Mox in, I can... Uh... <laughs> Should I repeal this thing? Yeah, I'm going to do it on their upkeep. <laughs> you don't have a counter spell. <laughs> Repeal the soul ring? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, the problem is I don't have Sphinx in, so all I have is Citadel. I'm at four life. It's not going to work. It's that that's not a, that's not a play, chat. If I had Sphinx, that's why that's why I was saying if I had Sphinx. Why did they board Leyline in? I'm so confused. I guess this gets taken by Dak. No, no, no. You guys have a good idea. Like repealing a soul ring is a decent idea. I would probably just repeal the jet or something, but it's not a bad idea to repeal a mox so you can tinker, but we just don't have a tinker target, so. Yeah, I mean, they can just dash, so I could have waited, but... Alright, so if I hit a Time Vault? No, I didn't even do it. <laughs> oh, my opponent has 12 cards in their deck. Alright, I should probably have done this during attack, so I could have gotten one more turn. Okay, so I don't really think my opponent can kill me in two minutes, but we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm going to bring this Sphinx back in for sure. And then I didn't see Scab Clan Berserker, so I'm going to assume they don't have it. And I'm going to just take this Dismember out, and I'm going to play the other Repeal instead. And then Soul Guide looked fine, so we'll just keep Soul Guide. Karn doesn't do anything, except turn off my stolen boxes. So, that's always nice. We could probably take out an island in this bat. Eh, whatever. I'll just run this back. It's fine. Yeah, but they don't, like, none of the things that we dismember are actually, like, very good to dismember, so. 61. Ooh, we are 61. Uh, whatever. I don't care. 61 it is. Opal. Uh, they're killing all my Moxen, so I don't need Nopal, right? That's how that works. Why did my opponent bring in Leyline of the Void? My Snapcaster? Uh, I was like trying to figure out what used the graveyard. <laughs> I was like, do we have anything? So the reason I didn't bring in Sphinx in game two for anyone who wasn't here is because my opponent playing some number of Murktide region, which can just brick wall my Sphinx. Um, maybe that's not a good reason not to, but I just felt like if they had answers, it wasn't worth, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube content. Are you watching on YouTube right now? If you are, you should subscribe. Over half of you are not subscribed and it would make me very happy. It's free. It's free. <laughs> Here's a YouTube link, Twitch. I'll do that. You guys can subscribe too. You can also follow my Twitch account. That's also free. Attacked them, her tied and dismembered in combat. Uh, I'm trying, trying to, trying to up the the numbers. The numbers need to go up. 
bigger numbers, better person is what I've been told. So I'd like to become a better person. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if you're here, just chilling. We we play vintage Wednesday night, seven p.m. Eastern. We play a league. Saturday is one p.m. Eastern. We play a challenge, and then sometimes you know random ones like this. Or you can find it all on my YouTube channel. Uh, I guess this is fine. It's not really a great hand, but... Magus, Ragavan, Pyro, Fluster. Interesting. Mm. I want to find a Mox. I'm interested they left in Magus on the moon. So I could take Brainstorm, but if they hold open Pyro or Fluster, it's bad. I don't really want these cards. I'm just going to get rid of these cards. I want a Mox. Didn't get a Mox. Time Walk is not unplayable, though, depending on if they play Ragavan or hold open Pyroblast. Oh, I can't really play Magic if they just hold open Pyroblast. Because my deck just can't ever beat a Pyroblast. Okay, at least I can play everything out now. So what I'm going to do is play everything out now. I guess I have to eat my own thing to do this. Whatever. Yeah, I don't really have to win this. I don't really think I could ever win this game. This, this deck just is not ever going to beat like a deck with four Pyroblasts in it. Which is a deck people could totally play if they wanted to. This does give my opponent the interesting choice of do they hold open Pyro Fluster or play Ragavan when they need to win in a minute and 35 seconds? <laughs> I would assume you dash this Ragavan and hope it's a good hit on top. And I guess that still holds open. Oh, they're just going to play Ragavan. Interesting. So now I have a blocker, though. So I'm a little confused what the line is. I kind of just want to hit my mana. Oh. Are they just dead to this? They have to have drawn Force of Will on this turn. Okay. I have to win in four minutes, I guess. That could have gone really badly with if they did have draw if they did draw Force of Will, that could have gone quite poorly. Uh, I will be back in one second, chat. I need to take the turns. Oh, I'm gonna get I mean I'm gonna get this in no time at all. It's like not even a huge deal. Yeah. So I actually did win that game. I'm not sure that was the correct play, because if my opponent had drawn force, they would have been able to untap and hit me with Ragavan and hold open Pyro Fluster, which would have been really bad for me. It's possible the correct play was actually just make a construct at the end of their turn, or like during combat or whatever. I, I think it's probably the case, but it seemed like a pretty free roll to just like have them have to have drawn force. So, I think it's fine. This deck... Did just beat, like, Mono Pyroblast, Mono Fluster, which is a good sign, because that's a really tough matchup, typically, for PO. Okay, here we are, round two. We're probably gonna play the Mirror versus the Dex Creator, so this is Pete Ward. Um, I don't know if they're on the same list, they might be playing with something else now. This hand is a little sus. 
The good thing to know is that if we are playing the mirror, that neither player has fluster storms in game one. So Tinker is way higher chance of resolving. If your opponent is on only four force of will, like Tinker is insane. So it does lend to the idea that I might just keep this hand and try to resolve a Tinker. So. I think we could probably keep. No, 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 he already messaged me in chat. No worries, chat. He was here. He's no longer here. So. I, I assume most people who play in the prelim hang out in chat when they're not battling me. So that's just kind of how it is for Vintage. Especially when I'm playing really slow and we were the last match to finish. <laughs> Though, yeah, I'm just going to keep this hand because I think it's at the power level that I would want to keep, like a Tinker, a Resolve Tinker wins. So even though I have no blue mana currently, I don't think my opponent will have Fluster and I should just be able to Tinker it for a win if they don't have Force. And I can always find a Force as well at some point. Um, I don't know. This just seems like acceptable. Are there a lot of Force of Vigor in the meta right now? There's a decent amount. Like, there are people playing green decks, and there are people playing Dredge. Lots of people playing Bazaar. So, yeah, there's Force of Vigor. Oh. All right, well, now they know exactly what my hand is, even if they weren't sniping. <laughs> Basically cheating. Get to look at my hand? Oh, man. All right, well... Time to find out what Pete's got for us. Saga go. We got a repeal. All right. I, I am also going to go Saga top pearl go. Uh, and I'm going to try to spin for a blue source and make them have force. The best thing to see would be blue source and force. Is it weird that PO doesn't play strip mine? Well, you already have four colorless lands in your deck. Like It's a little tough to play. Um, also, the constructs don't seem super good in this matchup when each player has four repeals. Blue, oh, time walk. Okay, well, that's really bad for me, I would think. So, I think my saga will just get needled, or my top will get needled. Hmm. Hmm. I have to spin my top, though, to play around my top getting needled here. Okay, so I actually found no blue source. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so my saga is my blue source, and then I'll have force. I wonder if I should use my top now to make sure I have a force on this turn. Is the next interesting point of contention. I think I do. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I expect them to needle. I mean, if they don't get mana, maybe they need mana. Uh, if they don't get mana, we could get our saga needled so that I can't make constructs. But again, I don't think constructs matter very much in this matchup because. Both players are on four repeals and no flusters, so it, like PO matters way more. Like I think Force of Will, Tinker, and PO are the cards that matter because the sagas are kind of just suspended mana sources. Yeah, when when you have like a million things that kill tokens, so maybe. Mm, so I'm glad that I did the things that I did. Okay, I mean, that worked out great. So I'm going to draw top, and there's a jet underneath top. If I were to spin my top, and there was a lotus, that's not even that good. 
think I'm just going to play top. And I don't even need to spin for jet because I'm going to draw jet next turn. I guess I can spin for... I guess I should spin for lotus or force. Time walk. So if this gets me a lotus and a mana, it's four mana, five mana. So... I mean... No, I think I would rather have a jet and just get rid of these two blue cards. Yeah, I think I would just rather have a jet. All right, so... I mean, I don't think my opponent has forced, or they would have forced, right? Which means that this Tinker should just be lethal. If we do, like, resolve a Tinker and win, I would say we played this game extremely well. Kind of an interesting mirror with both players just not having access to counter magic <laughs> because of the way Pete built the deck. All right, so... Which... Am I getting a Sapphire? I think I am getting a Sapphire because then I can still... Oh, I can't really PO. I could PO, actually. I could just get a Sapphire and PO. That's even better. Yeah, it's even better. Yeah, so if I get a Sapphire here, I have... Th yeah, okay. Because if this gets countered, I can still tinker on the next turn. And if it doesn't get countered, then I just tinker them anyways, so... Alright, yeah. So I, I really like how I played this game. And that should just be winning. Um, sure. Oh, well, I mean, my opponent's playing the same 75 as me, so. Um, just do this targeting PO. Can't actually cast it yet, but. All right, so I will be a misstep with my soul ring and I can just play a top. And then we just draw with top. All right. I really like how I played that game. I feel pretty happy about it. All right, so post board mirror match. I would like to bring in Flusterstorms. And I would like to bring in maybe one Hercules. And I want to take out Soul Guide Lantern. I think you want to keep in a single needle so that you can needle Saga, but it's not a huge deal. Karn is obviously pre boarded. I think maybe we just want one Hercules then. We have all these repeals and stuff. So I just need to find a second card to cut. Could probably cut an island, to be honest. 14 lands plus Saga. Seems reasonable to cut an island here. Wonder if you're just supposed to cut Saga. Saga look Saga wasn't bad. Saga found my blue source. Kind of an interesting idea. Is a saga better or worse than an island? I think I would rather just get rid of an island. Alright, so I'm just going to bring in the fluster storms and that's going to be it, I think. You could technically bring another repeal or like a sabotage or something, but eh, doesn't seem very good. This is battle for PO supremacy. I'm definitely keeping this hand even though it's pretty anemic. 
a single Moxon puts me very close to Karn, and I have an active force, which I, I, I think is one of the best cards in the matchup. If so they get to see my hand again. Okay, Gataxian Probe, you see my hand. Um if Saga tokens are not actually viable because of repeal, then force becomes even more important. And obviously, Karn should always be insane as well. Though I do need to draw the Moxen for this to work. I do need to draw the Moxen for this to work. A oh, Mana Crypt is the so good. Or even a Soul Ring would be good. Island, Island, Time Walk. Yep. Fire alarm, got a battery thing. Okay, yeah, you got your own key. Key go, no land drop. That's how I'm going to feel in a second if I don't hit a Moxon either. I hit a land drop, though. Land drop is good. Um, I'm totally willing to just go find an Ancestral here. If they have a Fluster, they have a Fluster. That's fine. Uh, it means my force is better. If they don't have a Fluster, then... I mean, I think they have a Fluster. Kind of just feels like it to me. I, if they do have a fluster, I think they should fluster this. Unless they have, like, a time vault and a force, and they want to, like, go land vault fluster. Yeah, this is fine. I don't, Like, this is good for me, but it's also good for me if it resolves, so it's a nice place to be. So we have the mirror here. We have the same number of cards. We have the same number of lands, and we both have a key. But my opponent knows that I have Karn, Force... This dig looks so bad, by the way. I really dislike dig and PO. I would rather just, just not be in the deck. But it's also a Merchant School target, so there's some plus. But you could maybe play Gush instead, because you have so many islands. That's probably not very good. Uh, Yeah, so we're going to cast this and hope to find a Mox or multiple Mox. We found Probe Tinker... Okay, this actually works because the, the top will turn on the opal and then we'll tinker them. And we get to see their hand. Okay. Probe. Show me your secrets. P.O. Force Hercules. Okay, so they, they do have a Hercules A Hercules. They have almost the same hand as me. It's pretty funny. Okay, so I, I doubt this will get forced. So my opponent does have Hercules plus Force, which does beat Tinker right now. Because I would force their Force, and then I would get my Citadel Hercules. Unless they tapped out. So I have to think about it a little bit harder than that. I guess I could technically Tinker for a Time Vault, but I don't actually have the mana base to support replaying. Which is interesting. I wonder if they're going to Hercules me for Tempo here. Just so that I don't have all this stuff. Probably not. I am one mana away from Karn, which is quite good against my opponent. Not right now, but just in general. So I might spin, and if I see a mana not take Tinker, instead try to play Karn. So that's what they drew for turn. So they can go Hercules for... They can actually go Peel for two... Interesting. If they peel for two, it taps them out. Maybe taps them out. I know their hand is Force Hercules. So if I force this, and they have to force Karn, and then I untap and Tinker, let's see. Let's see if that's true. It is true. Okay. All right, I'm going to do that. I think that puts me very, very far ahead. And the only way I I lose is if they top deck Tinker or Vault. I guess I also could just hope that they draw no Moxen. And that way they won't have the mana to Hercules. And I will just beat them with Force Tinker. That's a risk we could take as well. If they pick up these two cards, and they don't have... Wait, they need more than a Moxen, right? Did they play a land this turn? They did play a land. Okay, so they would need to have two Moxen off this PO. Because they have to replay Key. Or they could hit a Soul Ring. 
No, Soul Ring wouldn't do it. Mana Crypt. Because I can go for a Vault Key off of a Tinker here with Force Backup, and if they don't have Hercules Recall, then that wins. Okay, I think I'm willing to take that risk. What I'm going to do is going to put Tinker under Saga, let this PO resolve, give them two unknowns, and hope that they don't hit the mana to hard cast the Hercules or blue card Force, I guess. They hit Emerald. That's one. They could also have hit Fluster Emerald is the other way we lose this. But maybe I just jam Karn with Force back up instead. Because Karn can't get... Oh, Karn still gets Flustered. Because they go Force, I go Force. And then they go Fluster. I think it makes more sense to just jam the Karn. And then win on the next turn. I guess I... Yeah. So the, the nice part about the Karn is that... They can't Volt Key me, but... they Oh, they just let this happen. They just let this happen? They just let this happen. Interesting. They know I have Force, so I guess they know they're not going to win the war. So I guess that makes sense. Okay. I guess that does let them have, like, Force Hercules to beat my Tinker now. Hmm, I didn't really consider that. I guess I should have just tinkered. Interesting. Seems like a bit of a misplay to me on my end. I mean, I think we'll probably still win. I am the one with a resolve Karn in the mirror match, so. Soul Ring, yeah. So they have Hercules plus Force plus something. I mean, I can just. I don't need to tinker at all. I don't need to do anything, right? I don't feel like I need to do... So if I were to tinker... I don't even like tinkering here. I don't have a snap target, unfortunately, in... I mean, I have snap targets, but I don't have... Hmm... I know there's an Urza that I don't want on top here. They could not have a blue card, in which case Tinker just wins. I might be playing way too conservatively here, but I'm just gonna pass. I'm probably playing too conservatively. Okay, now I found a fluster storm, which should help. And then I don't need to make another Saga token because I know my opponent has Hercules. Um, I feel like a low uh, Mana Crypt should be enough here now. Let's see. If I play a Mana Crypt and then I tinker off of Opal, I should have enough to replay everything. After, like, Force plus Hercules, I would think.
Ja. I'm not 100% sure if I like how I played that second game. But maybe it's just because I was super conservative and that's not my playstyle, but it was probably the correct playstyle. <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting? Like I maybe maybe the maybe I played really well, but it just feels wrong because I'd normally play really bad. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, GG's Pete. GG's. Okay, here we are. Round three of this preliminary event. We're 2-0, playing against Karate Dom, uh, who's definitely on a bizarre deck. I just don't know if it's Squee or Dredge. We should keep that in mind when we keep our hand. If it's Squee, Anarsa is kind of interesting. The problem is I don't have any fast mana. I guess I can go Island, Brainstorm, try to hit a Moxin and jam a Narset. The problem with that line is it's only good if they have no Hollow Ones and no and no Root Wallas, which is... I guess they could have no Hollow Ones and I could counter a Root Walla. So that might be playable. That might be playable. If I can jam this Narset before they get too many activations, it's very good. But I think we just get destroyed too many times, so. Uh, showcases at the end of the month, last Saturday. I'm gonna mulligan this. This one is not that much better. This is not much better. It really isn't very good. They kept a seven card hand, that's not good for me. This hand doesn't seem playable to me. I would have to like probe into the vault or something. It might be play. It might be reasonable, but it might have some lines. I guess I could. I I. Force isn't even that great against my opponent because they just like out engine you, but I maybe I need to keep this probe so that I can scroll and oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. They kept seven cards. Oh, is it Gak? What is happening? They're playing mono green Stompy? Oh no. This was not on my radar. This is not. Wait, no, it's Gak. It's Gak. It's Gak. Because they wouldn't. They went for Dryad Arbor, so it's definitely Gak. That's great. That means their hand sucks. <laughs> uh, now I can probe because I found another blue card to pitch to Force. Let's take a look at this Gak. Oh, it's what? No shot. In Vintage, they're two zero. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, sure. Why not? All right. Well, I guess I, I definitely wish I had my opening hand, maybe. Okay, so how do I even play against this deck? I have no idea. Um, I assume I need to counter Glimpse of Nature. They top decked Reclamation Sage. Yeah, I mean, sure, it's fine. I don't think I care about that. All right, I need some Moxon. That is a Moxon. A Mental Misstep is a great draw, though. Definitely okay with that. Um, I should be able to spin here. Okay, so I get to PO next turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I force, and I missed up. And I just go. Okay, sure. We're, we're doing it. All right, this looks good for me. So I should just missed up the, the glimpse. And then I don't even know if I have to force. Might not even have to. I can't believe they're on elves. Interesting. Misstep was an incredible draw. So I think I just forced this heritage druid and then they have no mana to work with. And then whatever. Then I just PO combo them.
All right, so this is at least two POs because I have another mox on top. Okay, I've actually bricked off here. I could make a bunch of colorless mana with a Hercules recall. I guess I have a spin of a top at the very least here. I think I will just go vault, spin, see if we can find something. S found the sapphire. Okay, that's interesting. So now I can make tons of mana with a Hercules. And then I can repeal through. Do I want to fetch away any of these or do I want to just get a saga? I could just take the Sapphire and fetch away after repealing once. I guess I could take the Sapphire and Brainstorm if I wanted those cards. I want the Sapphire. I know I want the Sapphire. But I don't think I want these cards. Um, actually, I would rather get my top first. Activate hold priority Hercules myself. I guess I'm already so many cards in. I might as well just brainstorm then. Well, do I want to play Saga? I guess is the next question. I might have, I have a very low health total is something I need to be aware of. Like Saga is going to take a little while. Well, I know what my card is, but I guess that doesn't matter. Maybe I'm supposed to repeal their cards. So they can't attack me. I don't know. I guess this gets me deeper to like find Tinker or something. I only have one PO left in my deck because I exiled one. Um. Wow. Okay. So if I put back Narsa Ponder. And then I go for fetch top. Hmm. I actually probably don't want to get put back this mana crypt. Eh. Find a tinker. I'm okay with crypt getting rid of it. I wonder if I'm supposed to be playing the Saga is the thing I'm like most concerned about, I guess. Well, those are kind of shit. Do I need to dig through them, I guess? I might just lose here, right? Because I didn't play Saga. I have to get through them with my dig. Uh, so my opponent has Dryad Arbor Nettle Sentinel attacks me for one, two, three, four, five down to six. I feel like I should just take force time walk. So I can force a thing that kills me 
and time walk if it doesn't kill me with my saga. That sounds fine. Oh. Okay. I mean, those are lethal. Uh, all right, it doesn't matter. I just make sure they don't kill me and then I kill them. Okay, so now I should win. <laughs> I was looking for all of the cards that we just saw off of that top spin. <laughs> was what I was looking to get. But at least this prevents me from getting like, uh, I don't know, natural ordered or something. Holy shit, did I play around it? <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes I make smart decisions. All I want to find is like Time Vault Voltaic Key here, which I should be able to do with a Tinker and about a million mana. All right, I can Tinker Snap Tinker. If you love watching PO go, do the spin, spin, spin emote, spin emote time. I am Act PO, spin. Oh, I don't have a mana... Oh. I don't have a mana key. I think I'll still tinker a citadel. I don't think I want to play Telerian because I think I want to time walk with a uh, Saga. I don't know. Uh, I guess I can Karn. Uh, I forgot this deck doesn't play a lot of win cons. Okay, so let me... Let me bounce this. And go Saga time walk. I exiled time walk? Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I exiled Time Walk with Force. All right, let me just PO then. <laughs> uh, five, six, okay. I might not be able to win. I should have played Talarian Academy. I thought I could time walk. Yeah, I have to like use Karn and exile it and then I can win. Oh, I could have won if I had used Talarian Academy, but now I might not have enough. Uh, blue draw. I forgot I had a Citadel there. Did I miss a Citadel at all? I have seven cards in my library. Where's my Karn? Oh, uh, this is like super awkward. Um, I have an Urza, right? There's a Karn. Oh, 
Oh, I should not have drawn that. Because now I am one mana short. Ah! Alright, I should I should have played this. So I could have played the Karn down to two and then gone Soul Guide, Exile, or Soul Guide, or no, 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 I still get, I still, no, it's already Exiled. So I'm still one mana short now. I can snap P.O. I'm gonna run out of cards in my library. I can snap Hercules. I can snap Hercules. Okay. Snap, Hercules. I played this horribly bad. I played so poorly, but it doesn't matter. I figured it out. Oh, uh, so now what I can do is I can play Karn and get my key. It's not that we have no win cons, it's that a couple of our win cons got exiled. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I figured it out. I played this very poorly, but... Yep, I have enough cards in my library. I have a saga about to go off, so. I can go, like, make a saga token. Get a lattice. All right, so that was fun. We got to do a lot of game actions. All right, I played that terribly. Don't copy anything of what I did. <laughs> I I just forgot. Like I was like, okay, I'm gonna volt key, and then like I don't have a volt key. Okay, I'll t I'll snap time walk. Oh wait, I don't have snap time walk. Uh, I'll you know. Then I was like, I'll play an Urza saga and snap time walk. And like, oh, I don't have time walk. Okay, so now I need to go get my key with my Karn. Oh, but I don't have enough mana, so now I need to snap Hercules. <laughs> um. So yeah, that was bad. But, you know, we got there, so. All right, so my opponent's playing elves, for whatever that means. Our four repeals should be pretty decent here, I would think. We might want to be on Sphinx so that we can get pro green from Vigor. We probably want Dismember, and we probably want Cage. And we don't need a Lantern, and we don't need a Hercules. And we, I mean, I'm going to keep the card in now because I realize we have no win conditions. <laughs> I still don't think I want Fluster, though, if it's, like, just Forces and Veils or something. Like, that's probably not good enough. Um, I do want to keep a Needle. Um, probably this Narset is not very good because they're just going to have a million creatures to attack it, even though it stops Glimpse. It's probably not good. Yes, I know Cage stops some of my things, but it won't be able to get natural ordered, which I think is more important, and also won't be able to uh, get Green Sun Zenith. So Cage looks pretty good here. Cage, Sphinx, Dismember, uh, and this seems fine. It should actually be better than normal against this kind of thing because we have these repeals. So even if they do their thing, we can do some bouncing. Yeah, so we, we learned a lot about comboing off with this version of the deck. To be fair, it's very similar in the amount of threats as my dress down versions, so I should be normal. I should be pretty normal for me, but I just like totally forgot about the key going away, and then I just forgot about time walk going away. 
Because if I had just gone to Larian Academy, I would have been able to do the, the Karn line uh, way easier. But I <laughs> played Saga, so I needed to get more mana, <laughs> which is just really gross. Really, really gross. Not really worried about Clock, because that was just like a pretty bad take from me. So these forces are terrible if my opponent has an Allosaurus Shepherd or a Cavern, I guess. Um, but it is Saga Crypt Go, and this does beat Figure. I kind of think this is good. Of course. Okay, well. Doesn't beat Shepherd, I guess. Time to find out if they have a Vigor and I lose. No Vigor. They have Deathrite, Time Walk, Dryad Arbor, Rex Sage, Nettle Cyst. That does mean that eventually they will be able to play Reclamation on my Saga. Oh no. I'm not going to find... If I don't find blue mana, it's pretty bad for me. Okay, this could be bad. <laughs> so at least we know that they did intend to register this deck. There's a time walk. So they're going to play this... Tr I can't counter this. But there's no... Art there's no... Oh, there's no... Um, There's no lands in the yard. There's no lands in the yard. Nettle Sentinel, not Nettle Sis. You're right. All right. So now I should make a token and I should be fine. Another Saga. Okay. Still no blue. But they can't, unless they draw a land, they can't play Rex Sage this turn. They did draw a Glimpse that I can't counter, so that could be bad. If they draw like a Gaia's Cradle. They draw Fetch. Okay, they didn't draw Fetch. All right, well, my opponent drew pretty badly, I would say, so we're going to be okay. Here we definitely want to make a bunch of things. But we can also PO off. Oh, they drew Vigor that turn. Holy cow. <laughs> what a nightmare. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. That's a really good draw. It's a really good draw. Can't be countered. I lose both my sagas. Classic saga moment. It might still be good enough. If I can draw... I really need to draw blue land, really. <laughs> I drew another blue... Double blue spell. Okay, well... Like, my opponent could Rex Sage me here now, because they can Death Rite and eat a Saga, and then Rex Sage is Construct or a Mana Crypt. This is so bad for me. That was an unbelievable top deck. Perfect, really. So are they going to kill a Construct here? Yeah, man, Urza Saga... <laughs> it, it loves to screw me over. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Alright, I still think I win this game on any blue land, because I just play Pio. A Talarian Academy for an Urza is also very good. A Snapcaster. All right, so I haven't drawn any blue lands. That's not great for me. <laughs> when I really wanted to draw a blue land. Saga's always bad for me. What can I say? Heritage Druid. Okay, so now they have infinite mana. Uh, they gonna? I, I can counter Time Walk. That's a small victory. If they make blue mana, I can counter it. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, they're not going to time walk. Fair enough. I would really, really like to draw Island. Oh, don't say... Okay, yeah, yeah. Don't say hard cast negate. Oh, God, what if they have hard cast second vigor? <laughs> no! What is this shit? Ah, uh, I feel like I have run very cold in this keep, and my keep wasn't horrible. I think, I mean, I've definitely kept worse hands. <laughs> oh, they drew Cradle. Wow. So they have, this is going to kill me, right? 
Yeah, it's just gonna fucking kill me. Okay, cool. All right, well, I drew terribly there, and my opponent drew the exact, not the exact card, but definitely one of the cards that could have beaten me. Oh man, I was just very dead. Holy moly. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep it, try again. <laughs> <laughs> I could have chosen to mulligan that hand, but it seemed reasonable, and it almost was reasonable. And it totally, I totally could have won that game if I drew an island still, so. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the keep. I don't want to play two things out in case they go Shepherd Vigor on my upkeep. So this could be Green Sun for Shepherd. Narset versus Glimpse is not very good when they can just attack my Narset. Um. Oh, this is for zero. Okay, this is just fine then. This is a Dryad Arbor. Uh, yes, Dryad Arbor. Okay, cool. Um, so what do we have? Now I have fetch. Top. Opal. Make a construct. Go for a PO. Yeah, this should be winning. Should be winning, I would say. Well, now they have Shepherd, so now they can vigor my upkeep. I guess I have PO mana, so it's not too bad. Are we just going to get destroyed? They have four mana now. They could Vigor on their turn. Oh my god! It's so dead! We're just getting murdered by Allosaurus Shepherd! <laughs> oh, this card is broken. And I have the stupid Fading Saga again. I hate Saga, man. Saga's such a bad card. <laughs> uh, shit. I can draw Academy, I guess. So I can draw Repeal and, like, multiple mana sources. I guess. So if I go for Key... Or should I Needle... I, can't, I might need to just needle Heritage Druid? Does that work? No. This is a mana ability. Fuck. So I have to needle Shepherd? Ugh. <sighs> All right. Uh, I don't win that race. Alright, so I need to draw, like, Academy. And then... Like, Repeal, probably. They draw Natural Order, too? Oh my god. <laughs> I just got fucking memed on, man. I just got fucking memed on so bad. Holy shit. I hate Saga. If I had just not kept a Saga hand in game two, we maybe would have a chance. But because I'm playing stupid Urza Saga in my stupid deck, I get both of my lands Force of Vigored. God, I hate Urza Saga. This card is so bad. <laughs> okay, here we go. Fourth and final round of this vintage prelim. We're up against Theo. Theo... I don't know what Theo's doing these days. 
but my hand has turn one tinker, but I have a citadel in my hand. But I can tinker for... Hmm. I can still go for like Saga Key Vault thing. Or I could even go Saga for Lotus Citadel. So probably still good. I guess I could brainstorm and then tinker. That would also work. So it's probably takes a couple extra steps. But oh no, I don't have time for extra steps. Oh no, I don't have time for extra steps. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think I'm forcing them to have a Wasteland is good. So I'm going to go Saga, Ruby, Pearl, Pass. They have to have a Wasteland or they're going to fall really far behind. They have a Wasteland. Do they have a three drop, two drop fall? Oh my God. Why are we? Why? Why? That's a decent one if I didn't cost six mana to cast. I don't even think it's good to tinker a Citadel. What else can I tinker for? Just Vault Key. They have their own Saga. And they have a third sphere. Uh, okay. This is quite the workshop draw. I do have a Hercules in my main. And I do have all basic islands. So it's not a lost deck. It's not a lost game yet. Um, I might tinker to get a soul ring. Because this costs seven. I can up my mana by one, so next turn I can play a, 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 an Urza. I mean, it's still going to be too small. We're just going to lose to a Construct, right? I mean, this hand is insane. Wasteland, Triple Sphere, Mox, Tomb, Saga is like the one of the better draws I've seen out of shops. That's not just like Workshop Turn and Sphere. Uh... I guess I'll probe. Snap. That's bad. Maybe I was just supposed to tinker for a soul ring. Stone coil, stone coil, thorn. They have a thorn? Alright, I have to draw Hercules Recall no matter what. I don't even think I have time to draw Hercules Recall. And they drew they drew Tomb for turn. Oh my god! <laughs> I I have to draw Hercules Recall right now, and it's also not good enough. Unreal. Okay, fair enough. I guess. I guess I can draw. Yeah, <laughs> this this draw is too insane. Wow. Uh, I could like technically block with a Snapcaster or something, but it doesn't matter. That is a hell of a hand. That is a hell of a hand. All right, so I gotta bring in Hercules Recall, Steel Sabotage, Sphinx of the Steel Wind, and I can take out Soul Guide Lantern, Mental Misstep, Cataxium Probe, Narset. Um, top or dig maybe I can pre he probe on the play okay sure I mean I have five islands four recalls and a sabotage it's pretty good for for the Ra the Ravager matchup. I guess it's not Ravager. I guess it's the Null Rod Shops, actually. 
because we saw so many Stone Coil Serpents, so that means they're probably on Null Rod. Four Null Rods in the main. I think this hand's bad. Even though I have a Brainstorm, maybe the Brainstorm makes it good enough. Mm. Mm. I think this hand's bad, unless I hit multiple Moxen. Or like a Force, maybe. Might still be fine with just Sapphire Brainstorm. Go for it. Might be fine. It's a little risky of a hand, I think. But it definitely fulfills the kind of hand you want to have against shops when you're on the play, which is going for a big turn one PO. I mean, maybe I'm not really going for a big turn one PO, but... Like, even if I hit fetch land, I can still put back some bad cards, so it's not the end of the world. Though... Hmm, wow. Um... I guess I'm going to play Saga. No, if I do fetch land, I'm not guaranteed to play Urza. If I can go land, I can go Saga Urza. Yeah, okay. I don't want to draw another PO. Because if they sphere or null rod me here, I guess they could just... I'm just going to lose to null rod? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was a mull. Four? Five? Oh, no. Okay, sure. Uh, sure. I don't know, maybe, maybe Ravager Shop is just the best deck of all time. What's happening? Oh, uh, shit. Okay, well, I'm going to play Saga. These have been the most insane draws I've ever seen. Oh my god. I'm actually dead with a blocker. I can block it, I'm still dead. All right, well, I did not expect to lose to aggro shops, but <laughs> those are those are two top tier draws. Uh, we can't. We don't have enough mana. <laughs> wow, we've got rolled in the last two rounds of this tournament by decks that I would consider you to be favored versus. Like you should be very favored versus Ravager as a five island for Hercules deck, and you should be pretty favored against the nonsense that Karate is playing. But we got met, we got murdered. We got murdered. Wow, that was insane. Okay, uh, what do I think about this deck? I think Saga is a trap. I think Saga is bad. I would not play Saga in PO, which is still what we thought at the beginning of this tournament, and now we... Now we still believe so at the end of this tournament. The five islands were good, but cutting black doesn't really make sense. Demonic and Vampiric could just help you tinker more, and your deck is better when you're tinkering more. Repeal was fine, but four doesn't really... I don't really like four. Four doesn't really make sense to me either. Um, so in the end, I learned... I mean, it was good because I got to make sure that I didn't want to play this kind of deck. And the answer is I definitely don't. And I'm okay if other people play this deck because I think you can tech and beat it pretty easily. Um... So yeah, I mean, this is definitely a playable deck. It's definitely a style of PO you can choose to play. But if you're not Pete Ward, I really don't think this is a deck you should play. I feel like you can make other configurations that make more sense. And if you don't play Saga, you get to play Dress Down, which I think is just better than Repeal. So I think the blue-black Dress Down deck that I have is something I would consider... There's also the splash for Mentor, but the way the format is currently looking, I don't actually think Mentor balance is necessary. So maybe just blue-black um, dress down PO is the way to go.
But yeah, uh, like I said, I, I, this deck, I mean, it performed okay. And like, I don't expect any deck to beat the shop straws that Theo just had. Like, those are just high rolls that can happen in Vintage. Um, but I would definitely was pretty unhappy with how we did against elves when i think that should be much better than it than it was because we had sagas in our deck and then like we did win the mirror versus fanu but the mirror gets a lot easier if you have fluster storms in your 75 um so anyways uh yeah it was fun it was, it was an interesting prelim not too upset about it and uh, thanks for hanging out tonight. Appreciate everyone watching. Um, definitely going to stream some more before the showcase, which is not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, and I'm going to, you know, I, I think unless something changes, the nor the, it will just be Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern for a league. Uh, and Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern for a challenge. Or going to be the next two streams. So uh, make sure that you're following on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. Free things that help you help me help us. Help us vintage. Catch you in the next video.